Hey guys, welcome out to the range. It's getting dark out here, so I'm gonna do this really quick. I wanted to show you guys something. Um, it's, a, it's a cadence of fire drill, something that I picked up years ago from uh, Frank Proctor. <laughs> Nice and cozy, just seeing a whole bunch of this. Now let's start leaning on it a little bit. Why in the world would you swap mags out? You still got bullets in the gun. I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds out there. That magazine started at best with 18 rounds in it. Alabama map can figure that out. Last one. I was feeling pretty good about it. I was like, hell yeah, man, I'm doing a pretty good job staying connected. Where'd that shot miss? I was left with this one. Right. Right. Round number two for this target. Yeah, so we're already over here, and they're bringing the gun. You've seen, everybody's seen plenty enough opportunities of your eyes to know that your eyes lead that gun. Stay with the output. Stay with the output. Basically, instead of going pop up, pop up, pop up, it's one and two and three and four and five and six. It's working the cadence. It's allowing um, finding your shot, recoil, finding your shot, transitioning to the next one, finding your shot, recoil, finding your shot, recoil. And it keeps you from, from hastily launching rounds. And it affords you the ability to fire around and the slightest, the briefest moment of pause before you fire the next round to see if the first round actually did its job. And then your, your eyes track to the next target and then your gun follows. Now here's the deal with the cadence drill. Typically speaking, all the targets are on the same exact visual plane and they're evenly separated from one another. These are not on the same visual plane and they're, I roughly place them based on where the barrel was. So I'm gonna give this a try. Not to mention I'm really close and I'm firing a rifle. That was a little bit herky jerky. So let's let's see here. I'm trying not to game this guys. I'm trying to do this like legitimately. Visually, I've got a track from here to there, and I have to do it in a metered fashion. Now, these last two are easier. That's the harder one, probably because I'm a lefty, so I'm having to lean further over. There you go. There you go. That was a decent meter. One and two and three and four and five and six. And if you do this just a few reps, that was three reps. If you do this for just a few reps, what you end up with is a very practiced hand at your rifle, at your handgun. In fact, this is easier with handgun. Um, because it's not hard to move a handgun. Um, but what you end up with is a very practiced hand in moving your weapons. And what that equates to is confidence with the firearm. Because that's key, guys. If you're not confident with your weapons, then you're a detriment to yourself. Forget everybody else. You're a detriment to yourself. So simple drills like this, two, four, six rounds. And yes, I would at least fire two rounds, preferably three or four if you can afford it. But two rounds because it's about finding the shot, recovering, taking the next shot, tracking your eyes, taking the next shot, recovering, taking the next shot, tracking uh, to the next target, tracking your eyes, shot, shot. So one and two and three and four and five and six, or one and two and three and four and five and six, which I've actually seen shooters that can do that. Now, of course, the targets are only this far apart from one another. These targets are probably almost five yards apart from one another. But anyways, that's what I got for you guys. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank those of you who are donating to keep Tier 1 Citizen a, um, a viewer-supported channel. Uh, you can do so at tier1citizen.com, at the Tier 1 Citizen, at the Support Tier 1 Citizen 
media link. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one. What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? One, for, one more before we go. I love it. I love it. Bit, bit, bit.